Welcome to Spiritism Explained and Explored, where we take you on a journey of discovery of the other side, the spirit realm, the universe from which you came and shall return. Reincarnation's main objective is for us to become omniscient. The Apostle Paul, in a series of messages, presents to us what is the primary goal of reincarnation. These messages were sent to a medium. It is to create a high spirit, one who works with God in the process of creation. High spirits take direction from the supreme intelligence to carry out broad directive. Paul reiterates this point. This is what he says. Reincarnation's main objective is to allow spiritual beings to become self-conscious to such a point that they will become omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent gods, just as the true God we worship and inevitably will. In order to reach such an elevated level, men and women should think that they already possess the moral qualities that are necessary of them to attain spiritual consciousness. They should begin to mentally practice at once that, since they are perfect creatures in the divine mind, they already possess all that they need to attain spiritual consciousness in their own time. By thinking that they do not need anything from the outside to become their absolute masters, they will develop cells which will give them such a power. This way, they will soon begin to feel a remarkable change in their habits and thoughts. When feelings of consciousness instinctively correct some of their old habits, their spirits will then begin to screen habits which they previously did not consider inconvenient. To keep away inconvenient or detrimental habits is the same as to remove obstacles from the path that leads to spiritual conscientiousness. What is Paul saying? He is notifying us of our future responsibilities. We, at some time, at some point in the future, shall be responsible for great works and for possibly millions of souls. Hence, we should start acting the part of a truly benevolent being. If you'd like to know more about how spirits guide us, you should read the series of three books. It starts with Heaven and Below. But one of the books I will discuss now is How We Are Guided by Spirits, Book 3 of Spiritism as Revealed to an Anglican Vicar. Book 3 covers communications that pertain to three main themes. Number 1, Guiding Humans on Earth. 2, Spirit Assistance. And 3, The Future of Earth. Book 3 illustrates the ground game of the spirit world via the messages of multiple spirits to the Reverend G. Val Owen. We are presented examples of how the spirit realm above us peers down upon their unruly students. The process of tracking and modifying behavior on an individual and a collective basis is revealed. Even the broader direction of human society in the future is posted for all to see. God bless.